Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you, too. Um, okay, so sorry, I have my cheat sheet here it. of notes. And you, sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have them close enough. So um, there is going to be... There okay, here you are. And now I have my question, so I'm prepared. Not prepared enough. So, Erica, you are with In Touch, and you broke the story about John and Kate's kids. They, they were expelled. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what do you have to tell us? We want the inside gossip. Okay. So, the source tells us that both uh, their two children, Alexis and Colin, both age six, are um, were expelled for rage issues. What that means is that they were they're really acting up more than normal. They're uh, they're starting fights with kids at school. They were calling them nasty names. They were picking on them. A little bit of bullying going on there, which caused them to be expelled from their private school. Um, and now they're being homeschooled. Is what we're, is what our source tells us. Wow. Yeah. So that's so that's two of the kids. I mean, are the other kids showing some of the same uh, rage issues? According to John, not rage issues, but they're behaving badly. I mean, you have to remember a a reality show television schedule is not really conducive to you know child play they, they have structure in their lives and that that's hard for them to deal with because now they're at an age where they want to go out they're six the six tuplets are six mm -hmm. and um the the twins are 10 so they have they're beginning to have social lives and they don't really like being constrained by a television schedule yeah and apparently because ratings are down about 50 percent since since june um what the t tlc is doing is they're setting up situations so that m makes for longer days because they're trying to create these tv moments um so yeah they're not ha they're not happy these that days does not sound conducive but you have to also remember that you know you shoot for a few months and then you're done so i know people want to kind of you know get on kate for this but the truth is that she probably spends more time with them than a, a mom who's got a full-time job and doesn't have the luxury of being home. You know, it's a mean? great point. Yeah. Now you were, I mean, you were on the first season of The Apprentice. So was. what was that like having cameras, you know, in your face all the time? Well, yeah, and it's a little bit different because we actually the cameras were always there. Here they'll shoot and then it's over, and then they'll, you know, the, at the end of the day they'll go. By the end of the day, the cameras leave. For us, the cameras were always there. If we woke up at 4:30 in the morning, the camera was there to capture us. They were always waiting. So um, it was, you know, it's interesting. It's one of those things where, like, you kind of forget because you become so focused on the task at hand. Uh -huh. I think the aftermath is also interesting because you people think they know you, and they're, you feel really accessible to them, and that's odd. That's an odd feeling to people feel like people have this, like, little bubble, or they put you in this little bubble and this uh -huh. character. It's a little and so that's probably happening to these kids, right? I'm sure. And so they just want to fit in. They're six years old. They want to fit in. It's not really working for them because everybody knows exactly who they are. They get a ton of attention. And maybe it's even a bit of they get all this attention and then they, they go into their real life and they're not getting that attention. You know? So who knows? They're kids. Mm -hmm. They're kids. And, and so for you when the camera all of a sudden it was turned off, and but you were still, you know, an instant celebrity. Yeah. Everyone knows who you are. I mean, what was that like? I, t I say this all the time. For me, it was uh, I'm a New Yorker, so it's really I mean, there's a lot of cool, smart people in New York, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like I was famous for what? That was my, <laughs> that was my own personal issue. So I was having kind of issues with that. I I didn't like the the, the character that they had portrayed. No one does. And I was, like, a little uncomfortable about being a celebrity. Some people loved it and really ran with it. And then when it really ended, had a problem. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, you know, a couple of my castmates had some real issues when the glow and the glamour kind of faded. Yeah. So what do you think um, should happen with these kids? Should the show continue? Should okay. they be off of it? What do you, what do you think? Listen, she's got eight kids. Her husband, John, is not working. Who is going to support these kids? She, as a nurse, she would have made less money and spent less time with the children. She needs to, to capitalize on her fame. I mean, as we said, the ratings are, are, uh, are dropping significantly. We don't know how long this is going to last. I think she needs to make the most of it. I think the kids need to continue to do it until it's over. And I, I really don't think they're suffering as much as the source tells us. Yeah. So it's just more hype, do you think? Well, Maybe. Even if it... I think that it must be stress on them when the show films, but they've got the rest of the year to kind of live their lives the way they, that it, it goes. And in the end, I think it will do more. It's, it's like I think about Apollo Ono when he talks about his father. 
putting him through all of that crazy training when he didn't want to do it. And in the end, now he's so happy and loves it. It's a little bit different, but in the same context, like this is just a moment in their lives that and I think they'll actually look back and appreciate. Yeah. And kids, they, they bounce back, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's not a shock to me that two of the eight kids are rambunctious. Like, that's that a pretty happens. good percentage. Yeah, it's a pretty good percentage. And it's, you know, it's it happens, you know? You know, I just, I don't know. That's my personal so, opinion. I mean, especially if you have six other siblings, if you have seven siblings, naturally you're going to figure out what way you can individuate yourself Absolutely. from all the others. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on here. You know, there's also the parents' divorce. Uh, John doesn't want to take much, you know, part in this whole thing. But he, you know, there's that. There's, yes, trying to stand out from your peers. There's there's so many things. I think that even if the re reality show wasn't there, these two may have been the more rambunctious ones. You no know, matter you, what. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming by and Good time. chatting with us.